see you again from Foundations. Let's start our drill. Repeat after me, okay? We're gonna do the vowels. A, apple, a. E, ed, ed. I, itch, i. O, octopus, ah. U, up, a. Uh. Good, let's do a couple of consonants. Q, u, queen, qu. Y, yellow, y. And some digress. S, h, ship, sh. TH, thumb, th. Great, and our glue sounds. A, L, L, ball, all. A, M, ham, am. A, N, fan, an. Good job, boys and girls. Okay, this week we've been studying about suffix S. Good. And suffix S, we learn, makes words into a plural. Say that word. Yes, plural. And plural means more than one. Remember that? We also learned that suffix s can have two different sounds. Sometimes it's going to sound just like an s, s, and other times it's going to sound like a z, z. Okay, so today we're going to read some words and we're going to decide what that suffix s is saying. Is it saying s or is it saying z? Are we ready? Okay, let's try this word. I'm going to tap out this word. And remember, we never tap out the suffix. We only tap out the base word. Okay? Elbows up. Let's tap out this base word. K -i -d. What's the base word? Yes. Kid, like you are a kid. And the whole word is kids. And you are all kids. Great job. So in the word kids is the S saying S or Z. Say it again to yourself. Kids. Yes. It is saying that z sound. Good job. Okay, let's try this word. Okay, elbows up. Again, we're gonna tap out that base word. You ready? Let's tap it out. Elbows up. Ch, i, l, and the word is chill. Good. The whole and the whole word is. Chills, good. Base word chill, whole word chills. If I was going to mark this word up, how would I mark it? Yes, I do have to underline that base word and I'm going to circle my suffix. What else do you see that we can mark in this word? I'm going to get that base word marked better. Yes, we can underline that digraph. Sure. And what else can we do? Yes, that bonus letter. We're going to star that bonus letter. Good. And when do you think you would have the chills? When do you think you'd have those chills? Yeah, when it's cold outside in the winter, you can get the chills. When else do you think you can get the chills? Yeah, sometimes when you're sick, you get the chills. And then the word chills. Let's listen to it again. Chills. What is that S saying? Yes, it is saying that Z. Sound. Let me put my suffix s back in there. Okay, let's try another word. Let's use a glued sound. Okay, let's tap this out. Am. See how I glued my fingers together? Let's tap that again. Am. And what's the base word? Ham. Good. And what's the whole word? Yes, hams. Okay, let's mark up this word too. What do we have to do to mark up this word? Yes, we're going to underline the base word, okay? And we're going to circle the suffix. Anything else I can mark in this word? Yes, I can box that glued sound. Good. Raise your hand if you've ever eaten ham. I like ham sandwiches. A lot of people eat ham on Christmas. Okay, a lot of people. Okay, you ready for our next word? Our next word is, don't call it out if you think, wait for the letters to come up. Okay, elbows up, let's tap out our base word. Ah, what's our base word? Path, good, you walk down a path. And what's our whole word? Paths, very, very good today. Okay, now we're gonna do something a little different. Um, I'm going to make a word, and I wanna see if you can read it without tapping out that word, okay? And 
If you need to tap out the word, you can definitely do it. But let's see if you can do it without tapping out the word. Okay, my first word is everyone together. Yes, fox. Okay, I'm going to change that O vowel O to a vowel I, and now what's the word? Yes, fix. I'm going to change that first consonant F to what is that word now? Yes, it's six. Okay, good job. Now what's the word? Yes, it's sick. Okay, and last thing I'm going to change is this word. Changing the I to an O, and what's that word? Yes, that word is sock. Great. So now what we're going to be doing is practice writing. So if you have your dry erase uh, board, I want you to get your board, a marker, and an eraser. It doesn't have to be like this. It could just be a tissue. If you don't have this and you have this paper, you can use this paper or just any old paper and a pencil would be fine. So I'm gonna ask you to put me on pause. If you have the whiteboard, get the whiteboard, the marker and an eraser. If you're using the paper, get your paper and a pencil. Put me on pause and when you're ready, turn me back on and we'll start. Okay, ready for some dictation? I'm gonna open up my marker. I'm gonna say a sound, I want you to repeat the sound. My sound is what, everyone? Good, what says what? Yep, W says wha. I'm gonna write it down, W. What else can say wha? Yes, WH can say wha. WH, great. My next sound is an. Good, what says an? Yes, A-N, A-N says an. Okay, my next sound is all. Yes, what says all? Very good, A, L, L. And you notice I'm saying the names of my letters as I write them. That's what I'd like you to do too. My next sound is ch. Good, what says ch? Yes, C, H. Okay, my next sound is z. Repeat. Yes, what says z? Yes, Z says z. And we just learned what else can say z. Yes, s when it's a suffix can say z. Hopefully you have the same thing that I have. If you're using your board, erase it. If you're using a paper, you can just go to the next line. Okay, um, let's try words. My first word is tubs. Good, like in bathtubs. Let's say it again, tubs. And what's the base word? Yes, tub, let's tap it out. Uh, b. Okay, now let's spell it. T U B. Great, now let's write it. We're going to write it and say the names of the letters. T U B. That's tub, and now I want to make it into tubs by putting my suffix there. Okay, my next word is rocks. Great, what's the base word? Yes, rock. Let's tap it out. R -a -k. Now let's spell it and you spell it before me. R O C K. Oh, great. You remembered it was C K. So let's make it R O C K. That's rock and we want to make it into rocks. Good job. My next word is sheds. And what is our base word? Yes, it's shed, elbows up. Sh, e, d. Okay, let's spell it. Yes, S-H. Yes, E. Yes, D. Great, let's write shed and then make it into sheds. It's S, H, E, D, shed, and I'm making it into sheds. My next word is bills. I have a lot of bills to pay. Say it. Yes, bills. And what's the base word? Bill. Good. Elbows up. Let's tap it. B -i -l. Okay, let's see if I didn't if I tricked you. Let's spell it. B I L L. Good. Bill. And we're gonna write bill and make it into bills. B I L L S. Bills. 
Okay, we're going to write one last word. My word is packs. My mother packs me a lunch. Say it. Packs. Good. What's the base word? Pack. Great. Elbows up. P -a -k. Let's spell it. P A C K. Good. Let's write pack and then make it into packs. P A C K S. Great. Let's read these words. Tubs. Rocks. Well, let's read them first with the base word. Tub, tubs. Rock, rocks. Shed, sheds. Bill, bills. Pack, packs. Last thing I want you to do for all these words is underline the base word and circle the suffix. Tub, tubs. Underline rock. Shed. Bill and pack. Good job today, boys and girls.